hey guys welcome back so in this video we will be creating a welcome screen so that when user first logs in he will see a welcome screen and he will see a login and sign up button so without wasting any time let's get started and create a welcome screen welcome screen and let's create a basic functional component and let's add it to app navigation okay so we will also need to change the initial route so that when uh, application reloads user will see the welcome screen first okay so when we reload as you can see we are seeing the welcome screen now let's design it first uh, let's add the screen wrapper screen wrapper this okay now we we need to have two views one will have the image and the second will have two buttons sign in and sign up and we need to wrap it inside another view okay this view will have the image so image sorry make sure you import the image from correct component you should uh, import the image from react native so, require we already have a gif in our assets so we'll use that and we need to add the height and the width of the gif and a little shadow okay so when we save it you can see we have displayed the image now we need to add some spacing flex and justify flex row justify center and a little margin top i think okay so now now we need a, a, a app logo so let's just add a text expensify now let's design it center one should be bold text for excel and uh, let's add the color from our theme so let's move these double quotes and add the add the back ticks this and colors sorry color start heading and okay let's add a little margin bottom 10 okay okay so uh, the next thing is we need to add a button for sign in so let's add touchable obesity in a text sign in and let's design this text sign in here text center text should be white text watch okay when we save it we, i can see it but we need to add the background color from our theme so so that it matches the theme color okay so this is not displaying correctly uh, let's add the flex to the parent component parent container Oh, class name of we need a uh, white of full and flex and we need to justify them around okay so let's design this button shadow and little padding and uh, it should be rounded okay we need a little space around these buttons so let's add a padding sorry let's say let's add margins 
origin of five. Uh, okay, looks perfect. And we need to add little origin bottom. Let's add twenty. Okay. Now we just need to copy paste this button because we will be having two buttons sign in and sign up so let's change this to sign up and uh, let's add a margin button for sign for sign in so they look good okay now when user clicks on these buttons he will be redirected to a model for sign in and sign up model so let's add a on press method we'll use navigation uh, we haven't imported the navigation so let's do that navigation we'll use the use navigation hook here so navigation dot navigate to sign up sorry sign in sign in and let's copy paste this for the sign up button and this will say sign up now the next part uh, is to create these screens the sign in and the sign up so let's do that let's create a sign in screen and let's also create the sign up screen let's add the functional components for sign up and or sign in okay so now we need to add them in app navigation so let's just copy these two lines that sign in and sign up let's import them now we'll use a new option uh, presentation as models because these two screens will be shown as models so that when user clicks on the sign in button a model will pop up from the bottom so we will need to specify this presentation value as model so that when we save it and click on sign in you will take, as you can see we have a model popping up from the bottom and same goes for the sign up model as well okay so let's move to the sign in screen and design it we will be using the add trip screen design in this sign up screen as well so let's just copy the whole component and when we save it and open the sign in screen you will you'll see the add trip design here so let's change this a bit this should be sign in and uh, let's change the margin top because we don't need this because there is no notch area here so the next thing is we need to change these text this will show email and this will show password and we need to change this to sign in okay okay so what else do we need to change uh, let's change this image we have a sign in image sorry login image so now we need to change these variables as well email set email this should be password and set password this uh, should also be email and password and the method name should be handle submit so let's change it to handle submit okay so let's change the component name to the sign in screen and change this to handle submit save it and uh, oh we need to change these variables as well it should be email and set email password and set password 
we need to uh, secure this password so user can't see this password as you can see if i type this user can see this we need to add a property secure text entry if we add this and save it you will see the text uh, change to dots so this way it is secure okay so now we need a forget password button we will add it below the password input so let's add it here text sorry it should be a touchable opacity because this is a button so text forget password now let's design it just need to move it to the end so flex row justify end okay let's make this picture a little bigger now let's uh, add the email and password and when we click on sign and it should take us to the home screen okay so why did it not work okay so actually we did go on the home screen but uh, because we have this model and this did not disappeared what we can do is we can add a uh, a navigation dot go back method so this uh, pop-up will be dismissed and then we will go to the home home screen so let's to sign in uh, let's reload the application we'll start from beginning okay we have email and password and we sign in as you can see the model is dismissed and we we are navigated to the home screen so let's reload and go back we will need to copy this uh, same design for the sign up screen so let's copy it here and we will need to change the text for this screen sign up and we have the sign up image we'll use that and uh, we don't really need this on the sign up screen so let's move it and the button should say sign up okay so if we sign up it should take us to the home screen mm. why is it not working let's reload if we go to the sign up and add email and password test test sign up okay so we are successfully navigating to the home screen okay so the sign up screen is also completed and uh, oh i just noticed that we already had created the login screen we don't really need that because we just created the sign in screen so let's remove it and we need to remove it from the app navigation as well so let's remove login route and we need to remove this okay so this is it for this video we have completed the app design and in the next video we will add firebase so see you in the next video